Welcome to the Correct DRS User Tutorial, Navigating Clips. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to navigate through clips using keyboard shortcuts. First, let's take a look at the timeline display. You'll notice in the center, you can see the current frame number, which is the largest central display item. Beneath it, the display shows what number frame this is in the clip. For example, here it's third because the first frame is frame zero, so frame two is third in the clip. The total number of frames in the clip is shown here, and the total number of frames that have been marked as a subclip. You can also see the first and last frame numbers in the clip, as well as the first and last frames in the subclip if one is marked. The first two shortcut keys we'll talk about are the home and end keys. The home key will jump to the first frame of the clip, and the end key will jump to the last frame of the clip. The next keys we'll go over are those used for basic navigation. The V key is used to play forward. If the V key is pressed again, it will speed up playback. Press the C key to stop. The X key will play the clip backward. It can also be repeated to increase the play speed. The spacebar also plays material forward, but only at one speed. Pressing the spacebar again will stop playback. You can jog one frame at a time using the S and the F keys. F jogs forward, S jogs backward. The number pad can be used to quickly jump to specific frames. For example, if you type a frame number and hit enter, it will jump to that frame. You can use the plus key to jump forward a certain number of frames. So typing plus two, then hitting enter, would jump forward two frames. And typing minus five, enter, would jump back five. I mentioned marked subclips already at the beginning of this tutorial. Marking a subclip is usually used to tell an automated tool, like auto filter or stabilization, which frames to process. Typically, a marked subclip will correspond to a single shot. To mark a subclip, navigate to the first frame and hit the E key. Then go to the last frame and hit the R key. You can jump to the mark-in frame by holding down Shift and then hitting E, and you can remove the mark-in by holding down Control and clicking E. Anytime you create a new mark-in, the old mark-in will be deleted automatically. Mark-out works the same way. Now let's talk about scene cuts. To display the scene cuts timeline, right-click the timeline, select Show Hide, then Scene Cuts, or just hit the O key. The Scene Cuts timeline displays the part of the main timeline that is highlighted in blue. You can zoom in and out and move the position of this section of the timeline. Scene Cuts can be used for quick navigation and setup of automated tools using the H, J, and K keys. In most real-life scenarios, you would want to use Correct's automated scene cut detection. But because our test clip is only one scene, I'll manually add a few so I can show you how this works. To add a scene cut on the current frame, just click the N key. With scene cuts in place, you can navigate between them using J to jump to the previous and K to jump forward to the next. From any frame in the clip, you can press the H key to automatically mark the current scene.